I'm so glad you guys could be here. There's so many of you waiting in the chat. Thank you so much. And I want to say shout out to Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Gosh, you've been on our hearts and our minds. Um, thank you all. I'd have to start off with this and just say thank you, thank you, thank you for caring for one another. One of our own crochet friends, Bobby, as you know, had a fall, had thought it was a broken hip, but turned out to be a broken femur, which sounds still pretty bad to me. And um, went through surgery this week, had to have a pin put in his leg. And thank you, thank you, thank you for praying for him. Gosh, so those of you who are new probably think, oh, I came to a crochet meeting, not a prayer meeting. Well, it's both. I mean, well, sort of. Um, it's just a great group of crochet friends here. We care for each other. We like to show our projects. We like to learn new things. We like to encourage one another and have a good attitude in the process. So thank you so much for all your support um, for Bobby. And Bobby, I'm so glad you get to go home. Looks like he's waiting on them to get the all the paperwork finished so he can leave the hospital. And those of you like me who've been in a hospital a time or two know that that just takes a while. But um, thank God for all those good people taking care of him. Well, I want to just say hey to some of the other people in our chat. Um, hey to Rebecca, uh, Marie down in Charleston, and um, let's see, Jacqueline from Los Angeles. And love to craft Michelle from a chilly Montana. She's, I noticed that she's 40, 45 degrees there that morning. It's like 81 here and sunny. Well, it's partly cloudy, South Carolina, but um, enjoying the uh, what's left of the summer here. And uh, we have Tammy from Oregon, Rebecca from Missouri, Leon from the Isle of Wight, all the way from across the pond there. And uh, let me see, let me make sure that I am live here. Hold on a second. Let me, let me refresh my page a bit just to make sure that we are working. Yeah, I think we are. Hold on, hold on. This is what happens when, when you're doing lots of high-tech stuff away from home. All right, so let's go ahead. Hold on, give me one second. I'm going to skip that ad. So I can make sure that we are live. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Uh, hold on a second. All right, so let me pop this out. I promise I'm not trying to test your patience. <laughs> and let me go ahead and switch this. Um, now some of you, I don't know if you know, with the live chat that's on the side of the screen, that it may show you the top chat, but if you can also click there and get live chat so that you can get all of the chat that's coming in. So just, just thought you'd, you might want to know that if you haven't seen that before. Um, lots and lots of people here. We have, again, love to craft. Um, let's see, uh, Swati. Looks like Swati's not going to be able to stay today, but but if you're here, Swati, hello. I'm so glad that you, you could chime in on us with us um oh thank you um archer nays another another five dollar contribution thank you so much we will put that into the donation kitty um for that next song um you know coming coming up here and um anyway uh we have mary and let's see joni is in the chat and um let's see wanda gordon from bahama north carolina uh, I just love the way you guys are taking care of Bobby. Thank you so much. Uh, it's just been a hard time for him. Um, and um, it's been a hard time for all of us, you know, just having to be kind of isolated even now to a certain extent, having to be careful. So thank you for, for showing your care through the internet for him. And um, Alana says, looking forward to the crochet along. I am too, Alana. And I've got some great news. I put the finishing touches on this last night. And I think you're going to like it. Um, so I, I'm real excited to get back home in about a week and a half so I can just finish up all the edits on these uh, on these videos. I think you're going to like this. And what's really fun about this crochet along that's coming up, and let me go ahead and just talk about that. Um, there is a video. It, it's the feature video now on my channel. So if you want all the details, just watch that video as far as the yarn allowances. But in a nutshell, you'll need about 6,000 yards, six different colors, five colors for squares, one color to tie it all together. Um, I'm going to be using Lovecraft yarns. I did hear from some of you this week that, that might there might be some supply problems with Lovecrafts. 
I got news for you. It's not just Lovecrafts. It's it's Lovecrafts. It's it's Lion Brand. It's it's everybody out there. I mean, just the COVID thing. I know we're getting tired of hearing that, but um, the supply chain is kind of kind of weird for everybody out there. I, I know um, paint box yarns at Lovecrafts. They want to sell yarn as much as the next person does, um, and they would certainly have that yarn available if they could. I know that. So just keep that in mind. That it's just been a really really tough season. Wherever you are, whatever part of the world you're in, if you want to join me, use your favorite worsted weight, Aran weight yarn. And if you don't have that, if all you have is like tons of DK weight, use the DK weight, size down the hook to meet that yarn and, and make this a stash buster, okay? So I don't really want, I'm really not trying to break the bank on any of you guys with these projects, I promise. I understand what it means to live frugally. I raising five kids and on one income um, for, for more than 20 years. I, I understand that. So that's why I'm encouraging you with some of these. If you can't run out and, or, or order the yarn, you know, for this project, understood 30, uh, 30 uh, scans of, um, you know, 200 or 30 balls of yarn is a lot. I understand that. By the way, this is a large project when spread out on top of a, of a queen size bed. It does cover the top of a queen size bed. It does not drape down the sides. It's not as big as that, but it does cover the top of a queen size bed as, as I'm going to be teaching this. So just keep that in mind. So if you're looking for a lap blanket instead of a huge, you know, a big, bigger project like this, um, use your DK weight. Um, so do whatever you need to do. Uh, I want this to be a blessing to you guys. I don't want it to be, you know, something that's just kind of, Oh, I can't do this because I don't have the money. Just dip into your stash. And if you want to make this all one color, you probably aren't going to need, but maybe I'm going to say 2,500, um, not 2,500, that's that's not right. Okay, subtract about five, about 5,500 yards, 5,500 yards if you're using the solid color because you're not having to worry about, you know, having enough um, balls of yarn for the different colors and so forth. So I hope that makes sense. Um, is there anything else I need to say? Let me, let me check. Anything else about that? It starts October 4th. That's when square number one is coming out. And we'll have one each week after that. So this is going to run a total of six weeks. There'll be one for each square. There'll be five different squares. You'll make four of those. You make four of each of the five squares, making 20 squares. And then we're going to put it all together on the sixth week. So that'll take you into the mid part of November. And if you keep up with the crochet along, you'll be able to download the pattern free from my website. It's only going to be on the blog post through the end of November, just to let you know. After that, the complete pattern will be available at my Lovecraft store. So if you wanna follow along with me, it's not gonna cost you anything for the, for the pattern either. And um, at least again, through the end of November, after that, I'm going to have that for sale in my Lovecraft store. So just to let let my friends know about that right away. Um, and what else was I going to say about that? I just had a train wreck in my head. Let's see. Thinking, thinking. Um, well, anyway, so it, it'll come back to me. Um, so anyway, six weeks. Oh, I never remember what it was. If you're looking for a very special gift for the, for the holiday season, and if you follow along, you know, four squares a week with me, you'll be able to complete this in time to give it as a Christmas or a Hanukkah gift or, you know, whatever, whatever you celebrate, maybe a special wedding gift, birthday, whatever. And the other neat thing about this project is if you see one of the squares and you're like, I really don't like that square, or I, I don't think I can do this square. I mean, definitely give them a try. They're just squares, right? But if it, if it becomes just so difficult and you feel like you just can't do it, it's okay. You can punt that square and just do the next one, okay? And just, you know, you may even want to just take a look at all of them as the weeks unfold and decide which ones you want to do, however you want to do it. Because I know a lot of you guys have a lot of works in progress already. So, well, let me go ahead and get back to some of your questions. Oh, one more thing about Bobby. Um, if any of you all are interested in becoming an email uh, pal with him, let me know. Um, I'm going to be kind of this, 
using a lot of discretion. I don't want to just give everybody his email. He doesn't want that either. But if there, if and if you feel led that you want to to be a friend and correspond with him on a regular basis, um, let me know, um, and, um, and and I can you know kind of pass that information on to you. But you're going to have to contact me, bonniebay at me dot com. Okay, I don't want to just you know put this information out there. So I'll go ahead and put my email here. It's also in the video description. Okay, it's right there. It's also in the video description below. So should you ever have questions or concerns, just, just contact me. And if there's ever something terribly wrong with, you may think something wrong with what I'm doing, the patterns or videos or whatever, I would really appreciate it if you contact me first before going to a, a chat room or something about it. I mean, definitely let me know and I will try to make things right if I possibly can. All right. Um, all right, let's see. Da, 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 da. I, I just, again, just so appreciate you all and just, just caring for each other. That, that is, that is worth so much more than anything that I can possibly say in the next hour, I promise you. Um, Erica from South Carolina. Hey neighbor, <laughs> I'm over here in Conway. So, um, if, if you're in the area, let me know. Contact me, bonniebayatme.com. We can get coffee or something. Um, I can certainly do that if you're not too far uh, from the beach area. Um, Cynthia Burke from Illinois is in our chat. And Cynthia Dalton, um, she says she's catching up on her temperature blanket. Those are really cool. I've seen those online. Those are really neat and really colorful. Um, Johnny is in our chat. Hey, Johnny, my, my uh, South Florida friend. Um, ah. He, he finished his Christmas tree skirt last night and he's posted it on Instagram. Guys, it is just, I mean, I thought it was mine. It was so beautiful. Um, gosh, that didn't sound right, but you know what I'm saying? His stitching was just impeccable. So, um, uh, thank you for your comment there. And he, oh, thank you for your support too about the book. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a second. We have something brand new out. Well, it's kind of old, kind of new, you know, kind of something old, something new. Uh, and Tracy is in our chat and Terry Redman. Yay. Um, oh, thank you for asking. Yeah. She's asking about Johnny. Yeah. It's actually, um, it's actually Bobby, but, but that's okay. I, 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 I think I, last week when I was talking, Bobby, let me know that <laughs> I said the wrong diagnosis. Um, he suffers from spinal bifida, not scoliosis. So, and in my defense, I have a neighbor who, who suffers with scoliosis. So it's easy to get things is confused. And I told Bobby um, in an email, I said, well, you know what? If it makes you feel any better, I still get the names of my kids confused. Just ask Hannah. I don't call her the name of the bird or anything, but it's easy to go through at least three names. And okay, then I get the right name <laughs> when I'm at home. So that just means you're part of the family if I can't remember your name, I guess. Um, and let's see, we have Archer Nace. Thank you again for your for your sweet um, contribution there. And she's from Cleveland, and she like, says it's sunny. Can't wait for autumn and snow. You know, um, yeah, I, I just wish snow came with beautiful sunny days. I know sometimes it does, but uh, the only thing that's hard for me in the wintertime, you know, the, the days get shorter. And I really, growing up in South Florida, I love the Florida sunshine. And it's just, even though I've been in the north for 30 three years oh my goodness i've been yeah i've been living north of the mason dixon for 33 years and um i it's still hard to get through the whole winter with the with the gray clouds and the you know getting dark early and and being dark when you wake up but um i do love the snow i used to dream of snow when i was living in south florida but um i i think i need more sunshine so yeah, I, I, I get it. But the great thing about when the, when, the, when, when the weather changes and it's autumn is we get to break out our ponchos and our shawls and our stoles and our boots. I can't wait for that. So that's the one thing that would be hard for me living in Florida if I ever live there again is, is you really don't have the need for all of that. But uh, I guess just God wants me to be content where I am. And by his grace, I will be. Oh, we have Margaret in our chat. Hey, Margaret. And um, and let's see. Uh, Susan A.B. from South Florida. Um, ah, my home, my home place, man. And um, and Cynthia says that starting a 
was it a Helen Shrimpton cow? Hmm. I'll have to look that up and find out what that is. And then we have Esther. Hey, Esther, thank you for moderating for us. And our moderator, Hannah, thank you so much, sweetheart, for being there for mommy. And um, ah, we have Catherine from that wonderful town of Yellville, Arkansas. Yeehaw! <laughs> Every time I see that, it's great. Um, and she's working on my first crochet sweater. Yay! Um, if any of you all are out there and have never made a fitted garment and you want to just give it a try, try that. Try the uh, my first crochet sweater. It's basically one piece. You just saw, sew two side seams and then you crochet the sleeves round and round and around. It's really, I tried to make that one as easy as possible. Uh, let's see, I'm way behind again. But anyway, you have Erica Grubbs and Steph. Um, thank you for... Glad you could join us in steps. She says it's been a few months and and Melanie um, She wants to know how everybody's doing. It's rainy here in Philly and humid crocheting and eating Pasta is it Faglio or Fazo? I probably mispronounced that but it sounds Italian and, and wonderful um, And let's see we have Kelly from Pittsburgh, PA Gail from Alaska been flying much lately, Gail? I think you're the one that we've, we've talked about this before. I think you guys are the one that have the small plane. Uh, my son's been busy this week, still trying to clean up some um, some remaining requirements, still working, working, working hard on his pilot's license. It's a lot involved with that, which is a good thing. You don't want anybody who, you know, who doesn't know much to just be out there flying above your house and all. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of responsibility, a lot to learn. And... Um, Oh, Cynthia says she's talking to Bobby. She says, this old nurse knows what you've been through. Prayers for you. Sounds like you're doing great. Yeah, thank you, Cynthia. Um, thank you for your service and the way many many like you um, serve us. Uh, behind the scenes, out of the limelight, just um, taking care of us. Um, we have Bonnie Fitzpatrick. Hey, Bonnie. Like your name. <laughs> um, and Tracy and Christiana from Portugal. Wow. And and, and um. Let's see here. Michelle Knight says hiya. And um, oh well, Susan is in the um, the West Palm Beach area. Very cool. Uh, da, 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 da. And a bunch of comments loaded and jumped. Well, let me go ahead and go on to the next thing on my list here. Um, this, I am really, really, really happy to say that I was able to release this a couple of days early. I don't have my my final copies yet they are in the pro they're actually being shipped to my home in maryland i'm in south carolina for another week and then i'm going to be visiting my kids in um, southern well kind of outside the atlanta area in georgia for a few days so i'm still away from home for a while um but this was able to be released thanks to the help of my sweet wonderful husband he was my techno guru to to um help me with this because my main computer where I do all my editing is is really big and it doesn't fit in my car when I'm making shorter trips and um, I needed everything a lot of things to be done so we're like over the phone over FaceTime and you know doing like rock and three computers but happy to say this is available now on Amazon that's the good news um, there is some bad news though when I was going in to link the matchbook program that I've told you about over and over again um, the bad news is they discontinued that program back in October 2019. I don't know where I was, but I don't remember getting a notification, but I, I may have. And, you know, it might have been one of those 50 spam things that we get, you know, continuously in our email. But I apologize if I misled anybody on this, because in the past, what I've done is the books that have video links, I have made the matchbook, which is a PDF download copy available for free when you purchase the book through Amazon. It was their program, not mine. So um, that's no longer available. That's the bad news. So if you buy the book, you only get the book. Um, the good news is if you want just the PDF, you can buy just the PDF. And, and I even have better news. All except for one project in here can be found easily. You know, the video tutorials can be found very easily with a Google search or if you just go to my channel and you just put the name of the project in and the video link will come up. The only exception is the winter cabled throw. Okay, so the link is in here. You are going to have to type it in. 
Should you ever have any issues doing that, just contact me. Tell me you purchased it. Um, it'd be nice if you could maybe take a picture of the copy of the book and just send that to me and say, hey, I purchased this. I can't get into the link um, and I will send you the link. The links do work. They have been checked again and again and again and again and have many, many, many views on each of them. Um, the, uh, the thing that hangs people up sometimes is the font. If you look at a link and you're, you've if you've ever tried to type in a link, um, sometimes the L's look like ones, the ones might look like L's. Okay. So I, I know that that's difficult and that's why I make myself available. So I just wanted to tell you, my friends, um, that just contact me and I will send it to you if you have any issues getting to it, but you shouldn't really shouldn't have any issues if you can just get your magnifying glass out and, or glasses and just type it in. Um, the other thing is all of these videos, including the winter cable throw are up on the watch.bonniebaycrochet.com subscriber base channel. This is the one that has a monthly fee or, or you could purchase for like a yearly fee. It's a little bit cheaper. If you do that, you get like 10 months for the price of 12. But, um, just to let you know, the, the watch pro, the watch channel has all of the videos there and ready to go. So, and, and again, I have links for right and left-handed in this for all of the projects. And let me show you which one I'm talking about that, that you might have an issue on. It's this one. Okay. You just have to type in the link. Uh, where is the link? On the next page that's where it is hold on a second yeah okay see see the links are right there um it's just that it's just it, it's it's just not easy to, to plug in um some people don't have a problem with it another thing that you can do if you have the leaflet this i just thought of this you can make a copy of it you can even take a picture of this with your phone and your phone can access it or your iPad. Um, so you can do that that way. You can just take a picture of it and your phone will recognize the link. So that might be something you can try too. So technology has just, has just gone, has, has gotten so good. It's just really wonderful in a lot of ways. Um, let me see, what else do we have with that? But also thank you guys for, for your support with this one. Um, as you know, all of these have been released previously, but it is it, it was so much fun to just put them into a group. And when I started, um, let me see if I can even read a little bit this about the introduction. Um, the, these were birthed out of a pandemic. I mean, not that we don't we don't need to be wearing. I'm not going to be buying a shirt that says I survived 2020 or anything like that, but. But this is this is how I survived it. Is just thinking of this, and I thought, why don't we do one for every season? So, um, and I was mostly away from home doing these too. So, um, but anyway, so thank you for for your support with that. And if you're looking for some fun gifts, maybe for a crochet friend, maybe maybe that could be something you could do. Um, what else do we have? Well, let me go ahead and see who else is in the chat. I've got some things to show you in a bag in a goodie bag in just a minute i got to go shopping this week um let's see i i have really gotten lost here with all the names let me see where i am you guys are just so sweet caring for bobby um we have tracy hamilton we have judy hey judy and um let's see lonnie she says she finally made the lat lattice cable poncho. Um, I have to tell you a funny story, Lonnie. I went into the local uh, yarn store here in Myrtle Beach. It's called the Knit and Pearl. It's on North Kings Highway in Myrtle Beach. So if you ever get to this area, you have to check it out. It's one of the prettiest stores I've ever been to. Um, you know, I, I talk about my store up in Maryland, which is fantastic. My friend Lana and I've learned a lot from her. It's like walking into a yarn encyclopedia. But you know, it's really neat how each store has a special, has their own unique quality to it. The one in Myrtle Beach is a bit bigger and a little bit more spread out, um, just beautiful. And and I walked in there, and they, and they, I, I noticed I was looking at some yarn in one section of the store, and they had this 
really pretty red crocheted poncho <laughs> with the fur around the collar. And so, oh, I have to go look at that. And I walked over to it because I didn't recocognize it at first because it was such a different color combination. I'm like, hey, wait a minute, this is my poncho pattern. <laughs> That was so much fun and was able to get um, get a friend to take a picture. That was kind of fun. Um, didn't expect that. It was just kind of a, a little added blessing. Um, but I've worked with them in the past years with them, the previous owner. And the new lady that, uh, well, the lady that's been there now has probably owned the store for five years now. She's really nice and very helpful. Very busy store. Um, nice, nice people there. So if you get a chance, it's worth your time to go there. Um, we have Marshall. Curly and let's see, um, Janet Marie, best wishes from Western New York. Hey, well, welcome to our chat, Janet. And um, we have Scarlett and um, oh, Bonnie Fitzpatrick, thank you so much for your sweet comment there. I'm, I'm going backwards just a little bit. We have uh, oh, Wanda wants to know how's um, Christy's dad. Thank you for asking, Wanda. Um, Christy's dad had a heart attack. That's my, my daughter-in-law. Her her father had a heart attack a couple Sundays ago. It'll be two weeks, I guess, this, that, this coming Sunday. He's doing well. He's resting at home. He's got some time to recover. He needs to, you know, keep working on blood pressure and so forth. But the good news is he didn't need surgery. And they were able to um, open the blockages with stints. Um, so we're just waiting on you know, just time to recover, to, to just rest the, the rest of the heart. He say, said that his heart was bruised. So he just, there's nothing to do about that, but to just sit still and rest, which, you know, is kind of hard for some men to do. Um, but what's really, really sobering is he's, he's like my age. So it's like, wow, I'm got into that age bracket now, you know, looking at, looking at retirement and yeah, heart attacks. This is second close friend of, of mine in, in recent years who just, you know, just out of the blue had a heart attack like that. But thank you, Wanda, for asking about him. Um, and we have Christiana. Yeah, okay, from Portugal. I think I read that. All right, so I'm, I'm trying to catch up a little bit here. I don't want to leave anybody out. And if I do, y'all, I, I am so sorry. It's not intentional. Um, we have Dawneen from Saskatchewan, Canada. Wow. And is it Nilja? I'm sure I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but but welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. And um, see Deborah Wood, Pat Dancer, um, Roberta, um, Susan. She says, it, "Hi there. It is late afternoon in South Africa. I hope you're doing well, Susan. I hope you guys are staying healthy and and, and good and all." Um, we have Loretta from Spotsylvania, and. Um, Let's see, Laura Allen and, uh, yeah, lots of people. Sandy Harvey, uh, Gail, and um, Loretta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I am going to skip some. Okay, we have Nikki. Um, thank you, guys. And, and Coquila, if I'm saying that right. I am not even going to attempt the second part of that. Just want to say, hey, thank you for being here. Um all right, uh, the, 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 we have Daly, is it Dally, is it Dally? Is that, hold on a second, is that an I? It's an I, I can't get it was two L's or an I. Um, Daily Racing, um, she's listening in for Swati today. <laughs> um, and Ethiopia First, thank you guys for being here. And Brat's mom, hey, so glad, so glad that you're in the chat. I think Bobby was asking about you if you were interested in corresponding, but no pressure, Linda, I mean, I know I know we all have our priorities and ways that we're serving others, but um, that's just something he mentioned. I think he likes you a lot. Um, encur likes your encouragement. Um, let's let's see. And Hannah, we've got some comments in there. I hold on a second. Um, Hannah may have Hannah may have texted me. No, okay, we're good. Uh, I've got the text box open for you, Hannah. So hopefully, I'll I'll see it when it comes in. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Cynthia. Cynthia says yesterday was one year since our youngest son passed. It was a bit hard. Wow. But knowing that he's in God's and his beloved grandparents care helps. Oh my goodness, Cynthia. I'm so sorry. I, I, I cannot imagine. I don't want to be able to imagine, but, um, have walked through that with 
friends of ours in our church. Uh, actually, it was a, a very dear friend to Hannah and, 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 and Becky, but um, I am so, so very sorry. Uh, I, I'm glad you're trusting in the Lord because that's the only way, I, I think, to get through that. And yes, the hope of, of the future and, and the hope that he is in a much better place is such a consolation. Um, and Erica Grubbs wants to know, does each square, uh, going back to the crochet along, does each square have a different stitch? Um, each square is different, yes. Um, I will say, getting back to the crochet along, great question. And I should have brought one of my things of yarn in here, but it's in the other room. But you know what the paint box yarns look like. Um, each square features different texturized things. I'll just say that much. And and most of you know how to will know how to do these things. Uh, there's not it's not all totally new, but maybe a different take on some things that you already know. There there are a couple things that are a little different. So um, I'll just leave it at that. Um, it is definitely an intermediate project. So I, if you're an absolute beginner and you, you barely know the basic stitches, you might want to pass. You might want to look at the videos and just see if you can attempt it. I mean, if you're a confident beginner, definitely, you know, take out some of your, your stash yarn that you don't have a project, you know, for and, and give it a try. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, if you're an absolute beginner, don't, don't spend 50 or $60 on yarn and not just yet. Okay. Try the videos first. And if it's something that you think you really are going to like, then you can invest that. That's, that's just my mom's advice on this one. It, it's definitely a project for those who enjoy challenges. Okay. It's, um, but if you enjoy the, the cables and things that I do here, you'll be fine. Okay. So it does use the the, the cabling style that is unique to what I do. So I'm not going to give away any more each week. You'll get a little, a little, you know, a little, a square to do and, and you'll, you'll see. Um, but if you have questions, uh, other questions about it, just email me, bonniebay at me.com and I'll be glad to answer. Um, Scarlett says I had two balls of ombre yarn that didn't work. So that I didn't know. Hold on, I'm trying to try that again, Scarlett. I had two balls of ombre yarn that I didn't know what to do with, so I'm making the easy primrose baby blanket. Really nice pattern and so easy to make. That's probably a good yarn choice for that pattern too, Scarlett. I bet that looks really nice. Um, so especially since it's an easy repeat, kind of a lacy pattern, it'll maybe help show off that yarn you have. Um... Denise says, hi, Bonnie. Lovely to be here with you and everyone. Always look forward to this hour. Oh, thank you. Hope you are well. It's 5 p.m. in Salisbury, UK, and it's been a beautiful sunny day. Love, Denise. Oh, how wonderful. I would love to go back to the UK. I hope you guys are doing all right over there. Um, and Tracy wanted to know the title of the new book. I, I know I'm late to the party on the comments, but just to get let you look at it again. Four Seasons of Cable Crochet Throws. And your copy will not have this band that says not for resale. <laughs> That's just my advanced author's copy. I, I get one of these in print so that I, I can see if I like the product or not and if I need to make any changes, um, and which I did make some changes. My editor caught some things, and we did make those changes to the new book. So anyway, um Ah, Esther says New Jersey is having nice, cool weather. Send some south, okay, <laughs> Esther? It's been muggy down here, but I know a lot of that is from the tropical depressions and storms that we've been, you know, getting the remnants of down here. Uh, ah, so it looks like uh, Toxic Orchid. I didn't see you post, but I see someone talking to them. Okay. Okay, Leanne. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay, I get it. Leanne is Toxic Orchid. Is that right? Am I getting that right? New device and hubby set it up with wrong name. <laughs> ah, well, now we know your name. Okay, um, not that I'm going to remember, but Teflon brain here, just like one of our presidents. Anyway, um, we have Melanie Lewis wants to know, how is Grandma Barker doing? Thank you, Melanie. She's doing well. I'm on duty for the, for the, uh, these, 
two weeks here and um, giving Hannah a little bit of a break back home. So she's, let me get a little bit closer here, it's a lot of glare. She's doing really well. Um, so, so thank you for thinking of her. Um, you know, leg, she has a polio leg that, you know, after 95 years of, of, of use, it, it gives her a lot of trouble. She has, um, I don't know, post polio stress syndrome or something like that. I don't know. It, it's, it's rare because not many people who've had polio are still alive anymore. It's since that was thankfully, a a disease that was eradicated using vaccines. So, um, but she, she is doing well and she, she truly is a joy to be with. I mean, with all that she deals with and, and to not complain, I mean, that's just like, wow, <laughs> that's nothing short of the grace of God in her life. So, um, anyway, um, oh, thank you. I do. Thank you guys. You guys are so sweet. Um, Okay, Marcus says she's in, you're at Marion, about 25 miles away. Hmm, I know where Marion is, I think. Well, Margaret, if you want to get together, contact me. Um, if you want to, I don't know, get a get a Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi somewhere, or I don't drink coffee, so, um, but I, or, or maybe get, I know, we can get a salad at Chick-fil-A, <laughs> get some, and some of their lemonade. <laughs> um, that's one of my favorite places to eat. Um, but anyway, let me know. Let me know if you want to get together. Um, Mary is not that far, and I I'm always looking for an excuse to go on a drive. Um, all right. Uh, wow, Esther. She, um, Gail says, Esther, telling Esther she went from New Jersey to Florida and I'm currently in, I'm in Alaska. Woo! Yeah, that that's quite a, quite a climate change. Uh, quite a difference in, 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 in climates there. Wow. Um, and hey, Margita, thank you for joining us today. Um, it's funny, Brat's mom, um, having trouble with autocorrect? Oh, join the club. It's so funny. Someone should write a book about all the misspellings they come up with. It's really funny how sometimes it'll change a word that I, I mistype or something and it completely changes it to something out of context. Anyway, um, and Cheryl says, this sounds like so much fun watching from South Texas. Well, I hope you guys are okay from those storms. You guys got a lot of that recently. Um, we're getting the rest of it here. Um, I hope you guys are okay. You know, there was a lot of flooding in places. Um, <laughs> Scarlett says, if you lived in Canada, you wouldn't wish for snow. <laughs> Uh, probably not. You probably have it all year long. Well, probably most of the year, I'm guessing. Um, all right. Catherine Cunningham says, oh, thank you for that. Um, she says, I'm awesome. Oh, did you hear that, Hannah? <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. Um, if you, she says about answering pattern questions. I do try. I do try. I am very much a well of my humanity and that Things will never, ever be totally perfect in this world. That said, we do everything we can. I mean, I, I feel like I have one of the best tech editors on the planet with my daughter, Becky. And we work together. We understand each other. And um, and I think that really helps me a lot. And she's a stickler for trying to find something wrong with mom's work, if you know what I mean. It's almost like, yes, you know, when you find something that's wrong, which I absolutely... I tease her about it, but I love it. I love it because that just means whatever I do, the work that I do is going to be that much better when it goes out. I have had stuff text edited by other people. I mean, paid to do this in professional capacities. And I tell you that while they are good, uh, they don't touch my daughter. She, okay, she is my daughter. Okay, okay. Maybe you think I'm bragging on her because she's my daughter. Well, you know, okay. So she, that you do have that to deal with, but um, I know she's not perfect. Oh my gosh. I know my kids are. And uh, I shudder to think about that. <laughs> I'm very much aware, but did that said, we're, you're in good hands. I mean, we're in good hands because she does a really, really excellent job. She's, she's just really good. And she kicks my behind sometimes in, in making help, helping to make things better. Um, Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Catherine. Um, 
Oh, wow. Steph says that, um, that she also has spinal bifida. Oh, wow, Steph. I'm sorry to hear about that, but, um, I hope you're doing all right. You know, let us know if there's any way we can support you through this group chat. Let me know. Okay, please. Seriously. Um, oh, Erica says, I love the fall. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, we got some other comments there. I think it's in Dutch, but I, I, I appreciate the comments and, and I'll see if we can get one of our admins to, or moderators to translate that from, from Sidneelje. Um, oh, we have Elaine from New Jersey. One of our moderators is from New Jersey. Yay, Esther. And, um, oh, Cheryl says, um, hi from Shriner. Oh, wow. Are you from the Shriners? Or do you work there, Cheryl? That would be really cool because you're one of our um, one of the organizations we love to support with our channel, with our super chat. Um, it's between you guys and Arancho 3M in Guadalupe, Mexico. So anyway, we have Leora from says hi from Canada. In the winter, we have only eight hours of sunshine in December. We've had frost already and snow in the mountains. I live north of Montana. Whoa, yeah, wow. Um, wow. Uh, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, let me go ahead on to the next thing here. We have some other things I want to tell you about. <sighs> Guys, it's getting warm in here. <laughs> uh, we're at the end of the house. We're at the part of the house where, you know, it gets the coldest in the wintertime and the hottest in the summer. So the air is just not circulating for some reason. I guess because I have the door shut. That's probably why. But coming on Monday, that's September 20th, um, per your request, many people have requested this over the last few years, and I finally was able to do it. I am going to be doing a pattern, a tutorial for a pattern in this book. This is an older book. This is my first book ever. Um, well, first real, first full-size book. Uh, my first leaflet was actually the Aaron Afghans, but, um, but what we're gonna share, what we're gonna do. Okay, let me find the page first. Okay, here we go. You can't see all of the texture real clear in this picture, but the Gaithersburg stole, and you can see it has fringe on there. Um, this is a pattern that's only available in the book since um, the rights to this are owned by the publisher, which is now Penguin Random House, and I, believe very much in honoring contracts and words and copyrights and so forth. But anyway, so the, but the video do tutorial is coming for this on Monday. So if you've ever wanted to make the Gaithersburg stole, tune in Monday. It's one video from beginning to end. And, um, I switched up the yarn a little bit and now I talk, I've talked about that a little bit with y'all and, um, I talk about it some in the video. The original pattern called for Caron Super Soft. So if you have the Caron Super Soft, it, uh, how many, let me see how many that takes. If you've got that in your stash, by all means, break it out if you're looking for something to do with it. Um, this makes really nice gifts for people. People can use them, you know, just to keep warm. Um, maybe some people like, like to make prayer shawls for people. I mean, you could, it's technically it's a stole, but you know, you could use that. Um, it took four scans of worsted weight, Caron Simply Soft, uh, and that's with 315 yards uh, per, you know, per scan. And um, so if you got four of the same color, you're good to go. Um, I, did upside, I, did, I did upscale the yarn a bit for the sample that I crocheted. I used um, another yarn that I'll show you in the video on Monday. Um, it is a DK weight, and it was a blend of wool and silk, and it is really nice. <laughs> it really has a nice, nice um, feel to it. Oh, thank you, Tracy. So you just added $8. We're going to start off new again, so $8 in our, in our super chat um, kitty, so to speak. Um, Oh, thank you, Hannah, for, I got your, your text there, Hannah. Thank you so much. Um, Johnny, thank you for helping to admin or to moderate the chat. Um, thank you so much, um, yeah, for answering that question for us. Um, 
we have was it vs is it minu minu creations if i'm saying that right she says i need a suggestion what should i post on my crochet channel i am not good at tutorial but still try i don't know what my audience wants help um you know what you could do um why don't you why don't you contact me via email bonniebay at me.com the the link is in the video description and you know we can we can just chat back and forth maybe even privately on that and, and just so i can get a gauge for what you want to do and, and what you like to do uh, what i would encourage you to do is do what you do best and do things that you like to do um, you can look at other channels and see what they do but oftentimes, you know, you don't want to lose your own voice by trying to duplicate what somebody else is doing. So um, if you like, you know, thread crochet, do thread crochet. If you like um, doing little, those little animals and things, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, or maybe it's just to encourage people. Maybe it's to show people how to shop for yarn deals. I mean, I don't know. There's, there's no end to it. I've seen so many people online do so many different things. And I'm like, wow, I never would have thought of that. Um, but email me if you want, if you're just getting started and, and you know, I can maybe, I don't know, maybe help you out in some ways. Um, if you haven't joined Crochet Guild of America, they might have some, some helpful things there, but that's more for designing and teaching. Um, it's not so much for YouTube and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, just, just contact me. I would be would welcome um, doing that. As part of CGOA, I, I have been part of the, the mentoring program, people who helping to mentor people who want to kind of get a beyond it just being a hobby and, you know, making it more of a, you know, on, on like on the side kind of business sort of thing. Yeah, you just contact me. I'll be glad to share what little I know about that. It's, it's been a, it's been about an 11, 12 year journey for me so far. And it just started out for me just, you know, trying to have some extra cash to help pay for some college tuition bills. Um, didn't turn out so well in that regard during the time, but I've learned a lot since then. So, um, yeah, definitely contact me and, and I'll, I can just tell you, you know, where, where to spin your wheels and where to just not worry about it, if that makes sense. Um, again, not an expert at all here. But learning as we go, and that, that makes it so much fun. Oh, Emily's in the chat. Hey, Emily, so glad you could join us. I hope you and your kiddos are doing well. Um, that reminds me, um, Emily's um, wave blanket is up on the channel if you haven't had a chance to do that. Emily still has some kits available, I believe. I think she, I don't know if, I think she's still waiting on the yarn, but may, maybe it's already, I think it was in transit last time I talked to her, so it probably should have arrived by now. So, so if you're looking for, you know, some really nice kits, check out Lamb Shops, lambshopkits.com. And again, the description is in, that link is in the video description below, as is a bunch of other stuff. Um, and let's see. Oh, Kelly Hart says, I have a new puppy and her name is Maddie Marie. I had to put her in the blanket that I bought her, and she is adorable. Aw, puppies are so cute. I think they make, I think God makes puppies cute, so when they chew up your favorite thing, you don't want to get rid of them. Uh, puppies are so sweet. I, I, I raised, or in the family that I grew up in, we had a few litters of puppies, little Pekingese puppies, and they were just amazing. Um... Oh, thank you, Sandra, for your sweet comment there. You are such a sweetheart. Um, Uh-oh, I'm going backwards. Um, Kelly Hart was saying something about a procedure next Thursday, and they're going to put me to sleep for that. Okay, I'm, I'm going backwards here. Uh, Kelly, I need to find out what's going on. Uh, Wanda, hey Wanda, the backwards wrong side crocheter. Thank you for joining us. I hope things are going well for you out there on the road. Um, and Harriet, welcome to the chat. Love your name. Reminds me of my mom every time I see your name in the chat. And Lonnie, um, thank you for joining us. She said she had to go. Um, <laughs> uh, Michelle doesn't like the COVID test, it looks like. She says they have to scrape the back of the skull. Ugh, yeah, yeah, ugh, yeah. I only had one of those, and thankfully it was negative. So 
And that was a long time ago, before vaccinations were out. Um, okay. Uh, well, I haven't found out. I'm, I'm going backwards here. Oh, okay, okay. Um, VS Menu Creations is from India. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is so cool. Um, all right, well, let me go ahead and get to the fun stuff. I mean, this, this is the fun stuff. I love chatting with you guys. I could just spend the whole time reading these. Um, let's see. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, Cynthia is talking about the new COVID test. That was the one that I had. It wasn't the one that, that was the original one. That Mine wasn't all that bad. Um, and Sandra says she prays every day for those who struggle from sickness and all kinds of sicknesses or challenges in life. Yeah, there, there are a couple of, actually three people in Mrs. Barker's family right now who are, who are hospitalized and not doing well at all. One is extremely critical. Um, yeah, this is, this is a tough season. Tough, tough, tough season. Well, let me, there are a lot of other people. I, I just, I just, um, let's see, is it, is it Joe Jodamilla? Joe, Joe Demilla? Um, from Brazil, and um, yeah, it looks like we might have a troll in the chat there. Thank you, Hannah, for, for taking care of that. Um, well, let me go ahead and show you what's in my bag, because I wanted to show this to you all. Um, remember, I, I told you about going to a yarn store, and um, I saw this yarn. Actually, I, I, I saw a cowl. I think this is going to be a future cowl, C-O-W-L, project. I got four of these. Oops, there's my receipt. I need to put that in my, my receipt box. All right. Ah, oh, look at this. I, I saw this yarn, and look, look how fluffy it is. Can you, I know it's hard to see texture. It's so soft, and there was a knit cowl made of this stuff. I'll tell you what it is in just a second. And I walked over and I touched it. And my first thought when I touched it, I'll go ahead and show you the name here. It's, I'll read it out. It's um, Rosetti Yarn. Rosetti Yarns is called Nymph. Um, and I won't tell you what it is, what, what, the, what the makeup is yet. But when I, I saw this and I felt the, the knitted item, I'm like, oh my goodness. I, 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 this feels amazing. But I probably can't buy this because I thought it was Angora. Yeah, have you ever felt Angora yarn? I mean, it is like the softest thing on the planet. It's like sifted flour. And um, I, I was convinced that this was, was rabbit hair. And I cannot have rabbit hair in my house because my kids will, three of my kids will stop breathing. So, it, you know, it, it's better to keep them breathing and, and not use Angora. But then I, I looked at the yarn and I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute. It's not Angora. This is 84% cotton and then 16% polymide. Is it pop? Yeah, poly, polyamide. It's a, poly, a form of polyester. I'm like, really? And it's a number three. And it is so soft. And I'm like, oh, that's coming home with me. And, and then when I saw the price point, okay, $7. And it's for a generous amount of yardage too. It's um, 125 yards. Um, I know in, this is this is not your cheap old uh, yarn from Michaels, I promise. But 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 when I saw the price point, I'm like, wow. So that's actually very good. And I, I would not have even looked at this yarn or or brought this yarn home if it was just sitting there like this. But because of the item that was knit and. Oh my goodness, it just felt incredible. I thought, no, this is coming home with me. And you know me, I look at look at this shirt. I mean, I can't walk into a store and not buy something green or blue. <laughs> I have that problem. You're gonna see I had that problem even more in here. Let's see what else do I have? And I, as luck would have it, I didn't get the yarn I went for. I was I have a very specific type of yarn I was looking for, and they didn't have it. But I ended up finding all these other things, okay? This, okay, look at this yarn. This is one, all one, you know, one, one cake of yarn, one continuous with the color changes automatically doing it for you. 
This is um, the Painted Lace by Knitting Fever. This is a little pricier. I mean, this is, this is $30 for this. But as you recall, this past summer, the Bonnie Summer Top, it only took one of these to make the top, just one, if, if you make a size medium or large. This has 874 yards, and this is a fine or number two. So whenever, that's one thing that whenever you go shopping, try not to, to run scared when you see the price point of things, especially with the thinner yards, because the amount of yardage in them is much more than meets the eye. It, you know, if, all of them aren't real big and bulky like worsted weight. We're used to buying the big super savers, you know, and, and with, oh, well, we got you know, 400 yards and it's only, what, seven or eight dollars. But, but this is, again, this is um, 874 yards. I mean, that's a lot of yardage. And that's enough, like I said, for a, for a shirt, for a summer top, my Bonnie Summer, summer Top. And I'm thinking a nice, beautiful shawl, like a triangular shawl. Can you see that? Kind of lace style. And that would be really, really nice. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Giving you some inside information. And then I saw this. I saw this. And I saw the complimentary color, this. And I thought, oh, we got to put those together with something. And let's take a look at what this is, okay? And, and this, is from a, this is from a yarn company that I just love. And, and one thing, this is from Barocco. I'm going to keep the glasses on so I can see. Um, Barocco, it's called Aerial Color. This is 65% Super Kid Mohair and 35% silk. Okay, this is like super nice. Look how, can you see that? It's very thin, but I'm gonna show you, I can't wait to do this in a video. Um, I'm going to make a shawl with this. I have two of these and let me give you the price. Do I know how much this cost? Hold on a second. I've got the receipt. Hold on, let me look at my receipt. Because I know you guys need to know how much this costs. Okay. So the the color changing ones are twenty two fifty each, and and the solids are nineteen dollars and fifty cents each on these. This was at the yarn store. Um, let me give you the yardage because it's 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 pretty impressive on the yardage. Each of these has 284 yards or 260 meters in them. And this is the kind of whoops, this is the kind of yarn that I've told you about that it's like like that blue mohair uh, shawl that I've shown you before when I used the Abigail pattern in the in, in the recent video. And by the way, that video has gone crazy. Thank you guys for helping the uh, YouTube algorithm to pick that up. It's like close to 80,000 views in, 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 what has it been, just over two weeks? Okay, so, but you see how, how fluffy and fuzzy this is? If I can get the, okay. Um, but what's really fun to do with this and what I intend to do with this is to use a larger size hook, probably like an H, I'll have to see if I like using the size H or I or an I, but you know, crocheting big with mohair, it just, it just makes it look really airy, kind of like cotton candy. And what's really fun about this, since it's all natural fiber with the mohair and the silk, is that even though it looks fluffy and it looks like it's light and you're not wearing anything, it's one of the warmest fibers available, warmest natural fibers. So um, I just just love the way this stuff works, love the way it looks and feels and, and, and everything. And you can really dress something. You know, you can wear, you'd be wearing just jeans and a, just, a, you know, just kind of a, a solid color undershirt or something, you know, like for the wintertime and just wrap that around you and just dress it up right away. Put a little shawl pin or a little, or a little brooch or something on it and woo wee, you're ready to go. Um, 
Well, I I am I am going to I'm going to surprise Hannah, <laughs> and I'm going to end on time today. Surprise Esther too, and I wanted to read something for you all. Let me let me make sure let me make sure I got everything. I did that. I did that. I did that. That that. Oh, one more thing, guys. This is kind of fun. How many of you all out there watch the program Jeopardy? Does anybody watch Jeopardy? I don't. I don't watch it all the time, but whenever I'm at my mother-in-law's house, it's like it's like you have breakfast, you have lunch, you have dinner, and at seven o'clock you watch Wheel of Fortune, and at seven thirty Eastern time we watch we watch Jeopardy. So there, and that almost I think in some ways schedules are eating time. You you six o'clock the food needs to be on the table. Oh, thank you so much. Who's Joe Roxana, thank you so much for your kindness. So now we're up to $18 towards the next song, but thank you for your your generosity. Um the okay, we did Rancho 3M last month last time. So we'll probably do Shriners this time. So well that'll be going towards my our next Shriners donation. Thank you so much for that um sweet contribution. But anyway, did you guys, uh, if you guys are watching um, Jeopardy at all, my, my mother-in-law, again, has watched it, I think, from the its inception, from the beginning. And and um, we've read, you know, the, the, the autobiography of um, Alex Trebek and all of that. Very sad that he's not there anymore. But, um, but there's this guy, Matt, who is the current champion. He has won 22 games, and his winnings are over $700,000. Woo! And, um, you know, really smart guy. I mean, he knows more than, than, than I would know if I lived 10 lifetimes. I mean, just has one of those brains that just remembers all the details. I mean, mine does not do that. I didn't get that. I didn't get that when they were passing out brains or something. But, but, um, but anyway, it just tickled me that here you have this brilliant guy who, who's smarter than you probably than most people can handle. And, um, they asked this question on Jeopardy. And it was on, um, I, what is the, I guess the, the clue was a handcraft that makes X's onto canvas using cotton thread. Did you hear that? And his answer was, this is the real smart guy, the answer was crochet. And um, I just looked at my mother-in-law, started laughing. I'm like, well, thank God he, he knows what, cro he, he said the word crochet, right? Um, but that's not crochet. <laughs> <laughs> that was just so funny. Um, okay, I have to read Kathy's comment here if it'll load. I am way behind. Hold on a second. Um, hold on a second. Ah. Yeah, it was just, yeah. Okay, Kathy says, Jeopardy is a habit time for us all to sit together. I answer most of the questions. Thank God for the art and history education. Yeah. Yeah. What's really funny to me too is um, we spent a lot of time with our family uh, doing homeschool and just in our, our, our private devotional studying the word of God. And it's just kind of funny how even the most basic questions that we teach in first and second grade in our Sunday school, uh, these brilliant minds just don't know. And that just makes me sad. But um, it's just a sign of our culture. But um, but anyway, I gotta see. Kathy says yes. I laugh so hard that he said crochet. Yeah, I was I was glad for that they that he knew the word though. You know, usually it's you know, oh, it's knit. You know, no crochet. It, it was funny. Um, yeah, but I mean, I I don't have anything on this guy. I mean, he's he's brilliant, and uh, I can just sit back. <laughs> I only sit back and admire people like that. I don't even try to hold the candle to what they know. Um, and Joni says, I'm a cross stitcher, love it so much as well as crochet. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is, that was so much fun. It's just fun trying to answer the questions. You know, even if I get a few of them, right. I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not as dumb as I thought I was, but, um, yeah, a lot of those categories that they, they dabble in. I just, I, I, I just don't spend a lot of time focused on that and that's okay. Uh, and that is okay. Well, I wanted to encourage you all. I know there's a lot of bad news out there and I'm not ignoring that fact, but I wanna give you some good news just to remind you that the good news is still just as true as it was a thousand years ago, okay? 
This is one of my favorite Psalms. It came to mind today. It's um, Psalm 8, and it is a Psalm of David. Let me see. I'll have to go back to the questions. I'm sorry. I'm distracted. Okay. Cynthia says, some questions are so obscure. You wonder where they learn everything. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Creations by Jax. I so appreciate your comment there. She likes the Abigail. Shaw said she completed it. Send me a picture of it so I can share it with everybody if you can. You guys are my best advertisers, I promise. Um, just, just seeing the work of your hands just blesses me, and I think it encourages others you know, that they can do this stuff too. Um, and yes, Sandra, God is in control of all that's going on. Amen and amen to that. I think if we just, I, I guess this is silly to say since we're technically on social media now, but sometimes we need to just shut it down and, um, and get back to, you know, just what's real and what's true and, and don't let other people do our thinking for us. Don't let the media do your thinking for you. Just remember that, that they are trying I mean, and to a certain extent, I'm doing this as well, but I hope I, I'm trying to make a positive contribution in the process. But, but the whole goal of social media is to engage you for as long as they possibly can. And a, and, and a lot of times, you know how, how, we, how that is done. It's, it's just things that are outlandish and crazy. And, and usually a lot of negative stuff is what they use to draw people in. And, and since that's what sells, that's what the news does all the time. So so you just have to really, you have to just keep in mind that that news is not so much a service as much as it is a commodity. It's something that they're selling. So, and, and it's not always good. It's just like uh, not all the things you get at the grocery store. It's not always good. Um, all right. Well, let me go ahead. I want to read this to you all. And I did, <laughs> I'm five minutes over. I did want to just um, end on time. And I just want to, to release my daughter to go get some lunch and, and, but I do want to just encourage you all that there is the truth is still the truth. And, and, and we have lots of reasons to still have lots of hope. Okay. And this is from Psalm 8. And this is still true. Our Lord, O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to steal the enemy and the avenger. That's good news. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beast of the field, the birds of the heavens and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. All right. I hope that blesses you. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. And if things go according to my plan, I will hopefully be broadcasting next week from Georgia. God bless. <laughs>